Uh, hello folks, we are here today for game number three between the Mets and the Milwaukee Brewers. I went online to get the lineups and they haven't been announced yet, so I went with Rotowire's lineups. And we're going to pre-play game number three between the Mets and the Brewers, so we're going to get right into it. Uh, Mets are semi-dissonant from the role today, Brewers are semi-harmony. And let's get right to the ball game. We've got a 2-2-4. <coughs> So first pitch, it is Myers against Lindor, 2-2-4, two, two, pitching at home. Yes, he is. He's going to pop him up to shortstop, and there's one gone for the New York Mets. Here comes Brandon Nimmo. We got a 2-36. Two, 2-36, two, double control or dynamic, and Myers is not. Pitcher batting. Now, I'm going to use a rule that we use in uh, – um, it's sort of a homebrew rule – uh, I'm going to use the uh, lefty-righty split. So he is a lefty. He is a righty. So the answer is going to be no there. We're going to give him a base on ball. So Nemo is going to be on with the base on balls. This one reads a pitcher's batting, but of course in the DH, uh, that's obsolete. Um, so Nemo is on first base. <clears throat> He's up Pete Alonso. We got a 2-2-5. Two, two, 225 is he a star? He is Myers is not a star. Slugger sad sack. He is not a slugger with the decider die. So it is going to be a single to center field. Active steals. He's not active. Runners are only advanced one base. So then New York Mets have guys on first and second with one out as they threaten here in the first. Jesse Winker's up to bat. 122. <clears throat> See a workman. Myers, you can see, is not a workman. Champ or whiffer, he is not going to be a whiffer with the decider die. So it is going to be a line out to third base. So there's two gone here for the New York Mets. They're threatening with a guy on first and second. Sterling Marte's the batter. And 133. Is he a slugger? This could be a home run. He does not get the decider die. So he's not a slugger. He's going to fly out to left field. That is all for the New York Mets. No runs, a base hit. We're going to the bottom of the inning. And we have Jose Quintana against Jackson Churio. So first batter is up. We have a 123 and a 123 reads. Uh, both flash and fresh. And he is fresh and he is flash. We're going to get a strikeout. And there's one gone. Next up is going to be, after Churio, is going to be Blake Perkins. Here's the pitch, 122. Is he a workman? And Quintana is not a workman. Did not get the decider die. Um Champ or Whiffer, and we see he's a semi-Whiffer, so we've got to roll this again. He is going to be a Whiffer, so he's going to be nubbing infield single. So Blake Perkins has nubbed an infield single. He is on, and I think he's going to try and run and get a stolen base. So we are looking to steal. And he needs a dot. He does not get it. William Contreras is next up for Milwaukee. We have a 466. So go over to the other side. 466. Does the pitcher have control? And he does have control. So this is going to be pitch is red. It is going to be a single into left field. Runners are going to go two bases. So Contreras singles in Milwaukee pressures in the bottom of the first. The guys on first and third. And it brings up Reese Hoskins as the next batter. Here comes the pitch. It, a 5-5-6. Five, 5-5-6. Five, six. Five, five, six. Is he an ace? Quintana is not an ace. Sad sack. Hoskins is not a sad sack. So this is going to be a double to right field. If he is active, he's going to steal. He's not active. But that will drive in two runs. Hoskins puts one off the left field wall. And Contreras comes in, Perkins comes in, and it is two RBIs for Hoskins. And the Brewers take an immediate 2 nothing lead. The Mets, maybe they should start getting the bullpen warmed up here. It's going to bring up Willie Adamas is going to be the next batter for the 
Brewers, we have a 124. 124. Does he have control? He does not have control because of the decided eye. Is he eager? He's not eager, so it's going to be a base on balls. So it's going to be a walk for Adamas. And since that was three in a row, he would have been a semi-struggler. He is now a full-fed struggler. He's now had four guys in a row. Maybe the Mets got to start looking to their bullpen right now. Who are they going to possibly bring in? We got Reed Garrett. Starting to warm up in the bullpen. Yeah, we're going to have Reed Garrett warm up in the bullpen. Along with Jose Bato as the New York Mets are in big trouble early. Guys on first and second, one out. Quintana, Quintana is a struggler. It is going to bring up Gary Sanchez. The former New York Met is up. Here comes the pitch. It is a 245. So 245. Nothing here. Is he a hero? He is not a hero. It is going to be a pop out to second base. So he gets the pop out. That'll get rid of the struggler. And we're going to go to the red, which is experience. And Quintana is an icon. The next batter is Sal Frelick, who is a prospect. So this is going to work in the Mets' favor here. Here comes the pitch. I'm just going to read these two dice. 22 on the red. Prospect pitcher, he is not. It is going to be a pop out to the pitcher. So that will be it for the... Milwaukee Brewers, but they will score two runs on three hits. And the Brew Crew take a quick 2-0 lead here as we go to the second inning. Up to bat for the Mets will be Francisco Alvarez. Here comes the first pitch. It is a 256. 256 is he a struggler? He's not champion or patient. He is not. It is going to be infield drama. So we got to roll the black and the blue. It's going to be a 46 for infield drama. Uh, is this short, shortstop gold? Uh, we'll have to check here. So Alvarez is on as Adamas is going to boot the ball. E6. And the Mets start off with a guy on base again. Next up, Mark Vantos is coming up from Milwaukee. Here's the pitch, a 125. Uh, is he a struggler? He is not. Is he patient? Vientos is not patient. So it is going to be a ground out to third. Unless he's a whiffer, he is a whiffer. So it's going to be a strikeout rather than a double play. Would have been a double play. Next up, Jose Iglesias is the batter for the Mets. We got a 2-2-3. Two, two, so 2-2-3, two, two, is he wild? You see Myers is not. Slugger or utility, he is not. It is going to be a single to left field. Runners are going to advance one base. So Alvarez is going to second. And Iglesias, who was four for four in my pre-play the other day, uh, single. So now we're bringing up Tyrone Taylor for the New York Mets. Here comes the next pitch. It is a 1-1-3. One, one, is he ace or dynamic? He did not get the decider die, so he's not an ace. Uh, is he a slugger? we got to check for Taylor. He's a semi-slugger. Will he get it? Yes, he will get it. So 1-1-3, one, one, this is going to be a double. Does he have the home run king? He does not. So a double to left field. Runners are going to just go two bases on doubles. So that will score Alvarez, an unearned run. Iglesias will go to third as Taylor hits a double, and he will knock in an RBI for the New York Mets. Type of a runner as Iglesias. Should we send him home? One to four, take that extra base. Yeah, I think we're going to need a decider die. He's got it one to four. Iglesias is going home. He's thrown out at the plate. Seven to two, so he is thrown out. A little bit too aggressive by the New York Mets. And it's still two to one. It's going to bring up Francisco Lindor. It's the next batter. And we have a 126. Is he fresh? He is fresh. He's going to line out to second base. But that's all for New York. They got one run on two hits. It is an unearned run because of the air. We're going to the bottom of the second. And leading off for Milwaukee 
will be Joey Ortiz. Here comes the first pitch, 235. Is he wild? Quintana is not wild. Um, is he eager? Joey Ortiz is not eager, so it's going to be a ground out to second. So Ortiz will ground out to start the inning off for Milwaukee. One gone. Brings up Bryce Terang as our next batter. And we have a 246. So 246. Does he have control? He does not have control. Did not get the decider die. Quintana not getting any breaks in this game. Eager, sad sack. He is not. So it is going to be a base on balls. Active will steal. So Terang will walk. And then he will steal second base. So we have a guy on second. Milwaukee again threatening. And then it brings up Jackson Trio. Here comes the young future superstar, it looks like, for the Brewers. 235. Is he wild? He is not. Is he eager? He is not eager. Did not get the decider die. It is going to be a ground out to second base. Unless he's patient, he's not. So it's going to be a ground out to second. That will move Terang over to third base. So Terang is on third. We have two out. And it brings up Blake Perkins for Milwaukee. They lead 2-1. 2-34. Runners on Blaze, we've got some plate drama. So we're going to go to plate drama, see what's going to be happening here. We're going to read black and blue, 55, control pitcher. He is control. So pinpoint pitch, caught him looking. It's a strike. We're going to go to the umpire chart with a guy on third base. Let's see what's going to happen here. So runner on third, we're just going to read black and blue. i got a bad habit rule in all the dice, if you're wondering. Uh, 46, lenient umpire at home. No, we do not. So if it wasn't in the umpire, he would have claimed the ball misses the corner ball four. All other umpires call strike two. Batter is still at the bat. So still strike two to Blake Perkins. Clutch situation, man on third. One, sorry, three, four, five. Three, four, five, iron catcher. I don't believe he is. Good I know. I think this is going to be a strikeout. Let's just check the ratings for New York. So Nemo is semi-gold. Let's put that down. Strikeout. We have no runs, no hits. And we're going to go to the blue for the first batter here in the third. Batting first for the New York Mets is going to be Brandon Nemo. We have a 22 is he a cold pitcher? He is not. So it's going to be a line out to third basers. One gone. One out. Milwaukee and New York Mets. Here comes Pete Alonzo. Big breakdown for the Yankees. Have Sorry, the Mets. They have some power up. 3-3-4. Three, three, ace or a star. He is going to be an ace. Yes, he's got the dot and he gets the roll. Pop up to first base. There's two gone for New York. And it is going to bring up Jesse Winker. It's the next batter here for the, the Mats. 166. Is he a workman or gilded? He's not. Is he a whiffer? He is not. Did not get it. So it's going to be a ground out to third. And that is all for New York. They go one, two, three here in the bottom of the, sorry, the top of the third inning. And come up to bat is going to be. Contreras. Contreras singled the first time up. And I believe we got to go to the experience chart. That's going to work in Quintana's favor. 34. First batter, as I said, is Contreras. And 3-4. Always read blue and black for the uh, charts. Prospect batter. He is not a prospect batter. Otherwise, ground out a number up the first baseline. Runners will advance. But Contreras is out three to one, and there's one gone. Next up, Hoskins is the batter for Milwaukee. We have a one one two. Check on this side. One one two. Is he a flash? He is a flash. Quintana is gonna strike him out. There is now two gone, and it brings up Willie Adamas. Here comes Adamas with the pitch, and it is a two forty four. Is he an ace? Quintana is not an ace. Is he a champion? He is not. 
ground out to short unless he's a whiffer. He is going to be a whiffer. So Adamus is going to strike out. No runs, no hits. We're going to the fourth inning here, folks. These pitchers are no longer fresh. They are going to be semi-fresh as we go to the fourth inning. New York trails 2-1 to one here in the fourth inning. Starting Marte's up first. Then we have a 125. 125 is he a struggler? No patient. Marte is not patient, so he's going to ground out to third. Is he a whiffer? He is. He's going to strike out. One gone for New York. Next batter for the Mets. It's going to be Francisco Alvarez will be the batter. Here's the pitch. We have a 135. That is going to be unusual results. We're looking at black one on the unusual result, which will be a ballpark. So we check the black one. We roll off the mini chart. And we have a 55. So a 55 reads grass ballpark. Yes, we have grass here in Miller Park. Routine ground out. So Alvarez is simply going to ground out to short. We have two gone. It brings up Mark Vientos for the New York Mets. And we have a 1-2. One, two, one, two. A 1-1-2. One, one, is he flash? Yes, he is. Tobias Myers is going to strike out Vientos. That's it for the Mets. No runs, no hits. We're going to the bottom of the fourth inning. 2-1 Milwaukee. Willie Adamas, he struck out last, so bring up Gary Sanchez. He's a home run king, semi-home run king. He will be for this, 345. Iron catcher, no, he's not. Good eye, he will not have it, and it's going to be a strikeout. We're going to the blue chart for the next one. Sanchez is going to strike out and brings up Sal Freelick for Milwaukee. So we go to the baseball now chart, and we have a 56. Is he a hot pitcher? I should re-roll this. I think I touched it. And he is going to be a hot pitcher. Shows his best stuff, retires his side on ground outs and shallow fly outs. So it is going to be 6-3 to three and a fly out to right field. Freelick is going to go. So is Joey Ortiz. We're going to the top of the fifth inning. It is going to be Jose Iglesias, who's been super hot in this series. And we got a 144 uh, as flash for the pitcher he is. We've got to check the umpire. So those glasses means check the umpire. If he's questionable or lenient, it's ball four and does not get the decider die. So he's not. So that is going to be a strikeout to Iglesias. There is one gone. If it would have been a dot, that would have been ball four. Next for the New York Mets, it's going to be Tyrone Taylor. He had the big double first time up, four, five, six. Uh, is he patient? He is not patient. So it's going to be a fly out to center field. And there is two gone for the New York Mets. And we got to go to the dissonant chart. And we got a 23. We're reading black and white. Those will be my secondary readings. So everything going Milwaukee's way here as they get the strikeout. It is still 2-1 Brewers. We're going to the bottom of the fifth. Francisco Lindor will strike out. Leading off the inning will be Terang against Jose Quintana. 3.55. Is he a struggler? No, he's not. Is he a champion batter? He is not ground out to second. So Terang will ground out to start off the inning. One gone. Pitcher sign is settling in now and brings up Jackson Trio. We have a 345. Iron catcher, no good eye, no. It's going to be a strikeout. And we're going to the blue chart. There's two gone for Milwaukee. Maybe I'll just roll these ones this time. And we got a 23 on the blue chart. Cold pitcher. He's not cold. Well, we got to roll a decider die, I guess. Uh, he's not cold, 23. Um, but it's still going to be a towering fly ball to center field. So that is it. No runs, no hits. We're going to the sixth inning. Up first for the New York Mets is Brandon Nimmo. Pretty quick game after we had a lot of stuff going on in the first inning, 233. Is ace or a star? He is an ace. Grounds out to short. One gone. 
Big out there by Tobias Myers, and it brings up Pete Alonzo. He's got some power. Semi slugger, semi home run kid. Gets the dot, 255. Is this going to be anything? Is he a star? He's not. Home run king, he is, as we said. This is over the left field wall. Pete Alonzo takes Myers deep for a home run. And then New York Mets have tied this game at 2-2. Two to two. Brings up Jesse Winker as our next batter. 136. Uh, is he an ace? No, he did not get the dot. Oh, that hurts. Whiffer cold. We'll have to roll for Winker. He's not Whiffer. Is he cold? No, he's not. Uh, we've got some outfield. Sorry, we got some infield drama. 136. And we got a 66 on the air. So things happen bad. They run together. Winker's on on the air. It's going to bring up Starling Marte for the New York Mets. Here comes the pitch, 116. And 116, is he fresh? He is not fresh. He did not get the, the die. Utility or sad sack? He is not a utility or sad sack. This is going to be a single to left field. There's no delta on that one. So it's a single, then runners only go one base. We now have guys on first and second, one out. Myers run into a little bit of trouble. Gave up a home run to Alonzo, an error to Winkler, and now a single to Marte. This could be his last batter. Francisco Alvarez, a 123 flash and fresh. He gets the fresh. He's got the flash. He strikes him out. That is a huge, huge out for Myers, we're going to have Vientos up next. We have a 2-2-4 two, two, pitching at home. He is. He's going to pop him up to short. One run, two hits, but the Mets have tied the ball game at two. We're going to the bottom of the sixth. It's going to be Blake Perkins. Sorry, Perkins flew out last time, so Contreras will lead it off for the Brewers. We have a 3-44. Prospect pitcher, he's not. Is he patient? He is not. And he's going to pop him out to second base. So one gone. Contreras pops up to second. It brings up Hoskins. He had a big error that last inning. Trying to make up for it. 146. Is he flash? He is flash. That is going to be a strikeout. There's going to be two gone. Quintana starting to settle down and pitch well for the Mets. 135, so we're going to go to the black die. 135 is an unusual result. So black one, we're looking at a 26. Um, big ballpark, no, it is a small ballpark. So 26, otherwise deep fly, clears the left field. France it is a home run unless he's a scrapper. Adamus is not a scrapper. He puts one over the left field wall. And they come right back with a home run of their own by the Milwaukee Brewers to lead it 3-2. to two. He takes Quintana deep over the left field wall. Brings up Gary Sanchez. He's a semi-home run king. He's got that roll, a 144. Let's see what's going to happen. Uh, is he a flash? Yes, he is. Uh, we got to check the umpire, and I believe, oh, we got to use it as questionable. It is going to be ball four. So rather than striking out, Sanchez will walk. The umpire taking some barbs from the Mets bench. They're not happy. Brings up Freelich. And we have a 156. Is he a whiffer? He is not. So we got some outfield drama. Maybe the Brewers are putting up a rally here. We got an 11. An outfield drama. Is the right fielder gold? He, Marte is not. In fact, he's iron. So he bobbles the ball, making the play. Batter goes to second on the air. The Milwaukee Brewers now have guys on second and third on that big air. That is three guys in a row reaching base. So Quintana is now a semi-struggler. And it brings up Ortiz. Joey Ortiz is coming up. Maybe that is the end of the line for Quintana. He was rolling around. He had 1, 2, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13 in a row. He had set down, gave it up a home run to Adamas, a walk, and an air. Maybe we'll give him one more batter. Uh, who do the Mets have in the bullpen? We've got Butto and Garrix that are warming up earlier. Um, yeah, we got a righty. He pitches left. I think that is going to be the end of the line. You can't give up another run. They're going to bring in Jose Butto. He's going to come in. So we're going to bring him in. That is all for Quintana. He goes five and two-thirds innings. He gives up four hits only. He gives up three runs. All three were earned. And strikeouts and walks. We had 1K, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 strikeouts and two walks. So there is the line score for Quintana if you're checking the stats out. And we're going to the bottom of the inning. It's going to be Ortiz. So Butto's coming in. He's going to be fresh. We'll get rid of that semi-struggler. And here comes the pitch. It is going to be a 255. Check this one out. 255. Is he a star? Now, he would get the ace symbol, so he would be, usually the way I play it is if he's already got an ace, I give him a star. So I would give him the star in the semi-ace, um, 255. He's not a home run king. He's going to go out anyway, so we'll see a fly to left. But we'll give him the K. So one run on one hit. We're going to go to the seventh inning. Myers is no longer fresh. And Milwaukee, maybe we'll take a look at their bullpen. Let's see who they can start warming up. We got Piguero. McGill is the closer. We should have Williams in here too. Um, Bryce Hudson, Koenig, they got a pretty good bullpen. So... Let's just put him at the bottom. Hudson's probably our best guy. He's got four traits. Glacius bats right. Maybe we'll give Myers. Yeah, I'll just put him in this order. So Hudson is going to be the first guy we're going to bring in if they get trouble. Um, I'm going to let him go one batter. As soon as he gives up a hit, I'm going to pull him. So... Up first is the Glacius. Here comes the pitch, 245. And is he a hero? He is not. He's going to pop out to second base. So one gone. We're going to the experience chart. And he is a prospect. So we are going to go to the bullpen. And we are going to bring in Byron Hudson. So that is all for Milwaukee. Myers is going to get pulled. Hudson's going to come in. Myers goes six and a third innings. He gives up five hits. He gives up two runs. Only one was earned. Strikeouts and walks. He had one, one, two, three, four strikeouts, five strikeouts, six strikeouts, and one walk. So an effective day. In comes Brian Hudson. He will now be fresh. Buto at the bottom of the inning will be semi-fresh. And here goes Tyrone Taylor's the next batter up for uh, New York, a 145. And 145, a struggler. No, nope, he's going to ground out to third base. That is two gone here in the seventh for the New York Mets. It brings up Francisco Lindor. And we have a 166. Is he a workman or gilded? He is not. Is he a whiffer? Oh, he is not. He will ground out to third base. We'll go to the red. No runs, no hits for New York. We're going to the bottom of the inning. And Tarang is going to lead it off. He is a semi-prospect. And so is Jose Brito. So we got a 15. And we got to read black and red. 15 prospect batter. He is not a prospect batter. Did not get the dot. So it is going to be a single. He laces one in the gap. So Tarang is on. 
with a base hit, and I think we're going to send them. And let's just see. Needs snow. He needed that dot to get it. He's not going to be sent. It brings up Jackson Churio. Here comes the pitch. It's a 144. Uh, is he flash? Yes, he is. The umpire is not questionable, so we're going to get the strikeout on Churio. And there's one gone. It is going to bring up Blake Perkins as our next batter here against Bruto. Here comes the pitch. 126. Is he fresh? He's not going to be fresh. Sad sack. He's not. It's a single pass center. And Perkins puts one in a play. We got a guy on first and second. So Milwaukee starting to come back. We're going to go to the blue chart. For the next one, the baseball now chart. Here comes the pitch. It's a 13. Is he a cold pitcher? Uh, yes, he is. Uh, hanging pitch smacked by center fielder for a single. They're only going to advance one base, but Terang is active. So they're going to try and send Terang home and to send him home an extra base. If he's active, it's one to five is safe. He needs that to side or die. He's going to get it one to five. He's going to score in the single. He gets thrown out at home plate. Oh, my God. They throw him out. There's two gone. And it's going to bring up Reese Hoskins. Do we stick with Muto? I think we will. There's two gone. Big break. Oh, Terang. It looked like he was going to make it, but gets thrown out at home. We got a 2-2-6. Two, two, Hit by a pitch, yeah. So now Buto ran into all sorts of problems. Brings up Willie Adamas. That is all for him. I think we're going to bring in Reed Garrett. Or do you bring in Diaz? This is actually the ball game here, folks. Bases loaded, two out. Yeah, we're going to bring in Diaz because this is the ball game. Milwaukee gets a base hit. This thing is over. So Diaz is coming in to try and stop the bleeding. Base is loaded, two out. Willie Adamas is at the plate. Here comes the pitch, 156. Is he a whiffer? He is not. We got outfield drama. So it's being laced into the outfield. Nemo is semi-gold. Marte is... Iron. Let's see what we get. 44. And is the center fielder iron? He is not. So he's going to make a running catch of the fly ball. So Diaz gets the out. No runs on three hits. We're going to the eighth inning. And we've got to go to Brandon Nemo leading off here against Hudson. Hudson will be semi-fresh in this inning. First pitch is going to the purple charts. And team chemistry number 66. Batting team harmony, they are not. They're semi-dissonant. Uh, so it is going to be a strikeout. One gone. If they would have been, it would have been a fence result, which would have been great for the Mets. They're down one. It's 3-2. Top of the eighth. Pete Alonzo's up. Alonzo had a home run last time. Against the lefty Hudson. Let's see what we get. 246. Here comes the pitch. Does he have control? He does. He grounds out to the pitcher. So a weak grounder. Back to Hudson. There is two gone. It brings up Jesse Winker. Here comes the pitch. 146. It is a flash. He is a flash. He's going to strike him out. No runs, no hits. That is all for the New York Mets. We are going to the bottom of the inning. And when Diaz is now in, he will be semi-fresh as he faces Gary Sanchez. Maybe we'll have a pinch hitter here for Milwaukee. The righty against... We're going to bring in Garrett Mitchell, the hero in the ballgame the other night. So Sanchez is out of the ballgame. Mitchell is coming in to pinch hit. 
Sanchez is the DH this game anyway. Here comes the first pitch of the ball game, 134. Uh, gold catcher, no. Champion, no. It is going to be outfield drama. Here comes the pitch, 45. Outfield drama. Center fielder, gold. He is not gold. Sinking liner falls in for a base hit. We got to go to the experience chart. So Garrett Mitchell with a big base hit to start things off. Brings up Sam Freelich because we've got to go to the uh, red chart. The experience chart, he is a semi-prospect against an icon, 44. Umpire calls timeout to examine. Discards the ball, play resumes, the batter takes ball four. So now Diaz here in a little bit of trouble. Guys on first and second, none out. Brings up Joey Ortiz. Do we bunt him over? Try and get that big run in. We have Terang. I think we will. We're going to bunt him over. Here comes the bunt. It is a one. Safe at first. Runners advance. Roll the decided eye for the ruling. Single or an air. This is going to be an air. So we're going to say an air on the third baseman. Bases are loaded for the Milwaukee Brewers. None out. <coughs> That is three batters in a row getting on base, so Diaz will be a semi-struggler. <clears throat> Brings up Terang with bases loaded. The infield is in for the New York Mets. They got their closer on the mound. They need a strikeout. 122. <clears throat> what is he a workman? No. Champer Whiffer? No, he's not. He's going to line out the third base. So there's one gone. That will take the semi-struggler away. Bases loaded. They're still can they play infield back or in? I think they gotta play in. They can't let that run go. Maybe a second and shortstop will play back. Everybody else is in. Four four six. Is he a star? Diaz is a star. He's gonna ground out to second. Now the infield is in. Oh, let's just double check that. Oh. The infield was back on that one. Uh, so runners are going to advance on the, they're going to get the out. But the run is going to score. So second baseman was playing back on the double play. So runners will advance. Good thing, because if the infield was in, that would have been, let me just check my fielding chart. Infield in on a four is a single. So they do get the out. But that was Churio, and Perkins is coming up. It is now 4-2 for Milwaukee. 4-56. Is he patient? He is not. He's going to fly out to center field. That will end the inning, but one run on one hit. And the Milwaukee Brewers take a 4-3 lead to the bottom of the inning. It's going to be Sterling Marte coming up. Coming in to finish off for, oh, i got to make a card for Devin Williams. We're going to bring in Trevor McGill to finish things off. And the first player is got to be going to team chemistry because of the last out. we got a 56 pitching team dissonance. No, they are not. They're semi-harmony. It's a strikeout. McGill gets the first guy. There is one gone. We're going to the blue next. Baseball right now. Chart number 25. Hot batter is Alvarez hot. He struck out last time, so he is not hot. So 25, he's not hot. So a liner down the baseline fielded by the first baseman and as a line out there is two gone it's all coming down to mark vientos for the mets mets trail 4-2 top of the ninth it is mcgill against vientos and we have a 1-1-4 is he fresh yes he is that is going to be a ground out to short that is all folks that is the baseball game the new york mets get two no runs no hits they get two runs on just five hits for the ball game milwaukee four runs three
three, six, seven on eight hits. Uh, the winner, Miles. The loser, I believe, is Quintana. I'll have to check that out. But that is game three. It's a pre-play. We'll see what happens tonight. I'm hoping these lineups are the same one as tonight. Let's hope that rotor wire is dead on. But uh, if you're watching it, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun for me. And we'll talk to you later.